Hey piggy people, so I have some pretty sad news. Some people already know what it is if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, but unfortunately Annabelle, my skinny pig, has passed away. So I did have to, to decide to have her put to sleep so that she wouldn't be suffering. So if you guys were following us along, you'll know that she was dealing with some bumblefoot on her front paws, which I was treating, and they were getting better. She was doing decent. Obviously, it was quite sore, but I had her on pain meds, doing foot soaks, putting ointment on her feet, and they were improving. But unfortunately, something else happened that is what took her from us. So the bumblefoot didn't have anything to do with why she passed. But I just thought I'd make note because people are going to remember that she was being treated for that. So she basically had what Angus had. So she is related to Angus. Uh, she basically had like kidney failure symptoms. All the signs of her body just shutting down. And it happened so fast and unexpected. So it was just a couple days ago. So... In the morning I come in and I give everybody tomato and everybody's always climbing the bars and she was not. So immediately I felt worried because that never happens. Everybody's always out when you open that door in the morning. So I found her in her bed and passed the tomato to her but she wouldn't eat it. So then I knew something seriously was wrong so I got her out of her bed and she looked awful. She looked dehydrated beyond reason because just the night before when I went to bed she was eating she was drinking and she looked decent so it was crazy that she could look so dehydrated because I get up pretty early in the morning so it was like maybe six hours ago since I last saw her and the other thing was I took her out of the cage so that I could feed her and give her some fluids give her some electrolytes get something in her system and within just like a minute of holding her she felt cool to the touch so she was unable to maintain her body temperature which is very bad which is a sign that her body is shutting down so I gave her some fluids and just a little bit of food and got her back in her bed on the heat pad to try to keep her as comfortable as possible and I just tried a few more times to give her some more fluids just like just trying to be super quick so that she wasn't away from the heat source and zero improvement nothing normally you know you might see some glimmer of hope but it was not good so I made an appointment with my vet for that morning took her in and after my vet's assessment she said that she was in critical condition and they said, like, they could try to keep her there to see if they could even stabilize her temperature. But she said, like, her temperature is so low. She's lost so much weight. And her condition was so poor. And she said that it sounds something like something very similar to what happened with Angus. And since they were related, it seemed likely that it was some kind of genetic issue, I would say, or what have you. So anyway, her prognosis was absolutely horrible. And after going through what I did with Angus, uh, in hindsight, I feel like he had a horrible last two weeks because I was thinking it was just his tongue ulcer and was trying everything to do, everything I could to keep him going. And I feel like I should have let him go long before I did. So with her... Knowing what happened to Angus and knowing that she had a ton of the same signs and that it hit her just like that, I decided to let her go. She was also way more critical than Angus was to start off with. So, yeah, I let her go peacefully because it was the kindest thing to do. Her body was shutting down and there was nothing we could do for her. And it was so sad because... I just felt like it came out of nowhere, so I didn't even really feel like I had time to process things. But I felt like I needed to make a decision fairly quick. And it was an informed decision because my vet was right on board thinking that that was the best thing to do for her because she said it was so serious. So I brought her back home after she had passed and I left her in the cage for Annie and Buzz 
to say goodbye to. And both of them immediately went up to her and were grooming her. So they got to say their goodbyes. They left her in the cage for probably, I don't know, a good five hours. And I will be burying her at home. I have Angus to bury as well still, so I'll put them together once the ground thaws. It doesn't even feel real because it just all happened super quick and had no clue. With Angus, it was more prolonged that he wasn't doing right for a while. So at least I had time to get used to the fact that he wasn't okay. Annabelle, it was just all happened within a couple hours in the morning of making these tough decisions. So thankfully, Buzz and Annie seem just fine with each other. I'm so glad that Annie has Buzz because it breaks my heart knowing that she lost her sister. So I am going to be moving forward now with trying Autumn with these two. I was holding off just because Annabelle's feet were sore. So I'm going to give it a whirl. I know that Buzz is a pretty easygoing character. Um, hopefully Annie and Autumn agree on who's in charge of who. So Buzz is the boss and then Annie is a major female boss. So I think Autumn, in order to get along with them, is going to have to be okay with being the bottom. So I won't know until I try, but I'm pretty hopeful that all three of them will get along and I'll share that with you guys when the time comes. So thanks everybody for all your support. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!